one hour flight from Porto in Portugal. We are in Madrid. This is only a short stopover on the way down to Sevilla. We head there tomorrow. So we're gonna check out what Madrid's all about and we're starting off our day at Retiro Park. This is a beautiful large park right in the center of Madrid. Mm. Really popular for tourists and locals. Plenty of things to see and do. Also, if you want to come down here and get some coffee or something to eat, there's mm. heaps of cafes and restaurants scattered all around the park. There seems to be some sort of like book fair also happening. I'm not yeah. sure if it's a permanent structure or it's just a weekend thing. Right now it is Sunday. It's also a good place to beat the heat. Right now it's about yeah. 30 degrees mm -hmm. and it feels only about 25 here in the shade. It's really, yeah. really nice. Yeah, it's really hot here in Madrid, so we are enjoying the shade. this beautiful lake pretty much smack bang in the middle of the park look at how many rowboats are on this lake and I'd imagine that there's gonna be many more later on I feel like you could spend half a day to a full day here yeah easily it was actually owned by the Spanish royal family and it was made available to the public in the 19th century And a quick side note if you know me you know I'm obsessed with little dogs and I have seen so many here in Spain in Europe actually Portugal they had a lot of little cuties as well um, but they're just superior here Now we're on the hunt for the crystal or the glass palace. I think we're heading the right way. This park's so big it's hard to know to be honest. Yeah, it's like a suburb in itself. It feels a lot like a greenhouse and that's because it once was. It used to house plants from the Philippines. Back when Spain occupied the Philippines, it's now used for art exhibitions from time to time and a tourist attraction. We thought the pillars in the middle of the structure were actual like made of concrete. Turns out they're made of cardboard. So and then that led us to investigate why there's cardboard in the middle of this beautiful greenhouse and then we realized it was because it was an exhibition. We are absolutely starving. It's been, what, four hours since mm -hmm. breakfast? Yeah. So we're on the hunt for someone to have some lunch. That was delicious. Yeah, we didn't film in there because it was super crowded, really loud. Yeah. Just your typical Spanish restaurant, really. Yeah, yeah. the sangria was nice, yeah. the limoncello was nice. Anyway, we're on to our next stop, which is the... Royal Palace? I yeah, we're going yeah, to the Royal Palace. Palace. Yeah. So it's only about two k's from us. <laughs> Lady, <laughs> a so, lady's um, confused. She thought she couldn't walk in front of that camera. But she was behind it. She was, yeah. Okay, Royal Palace time. of the guards that are red happened every half an hour. Didn't catch that, I don't know if that's because it's a Sunday, but we're gonna head from here and check out the Royal Gardens. So siestas are definitely a thing here in Spain. We've come down to the Royal Palace Gardens and found a path <laughs> to have a random little lay down, as has many other people. It's 
it's about five o'clock. We've been out for most of the day and we've still got about another two to three hours of sightseeing. So our Airbnb is way too far away from here. It's about three kilometers. So what better place to have a rest than a footpath? St. Miguel Market, great little market if you're gonna stop off for a bit of lunch or dinner. So good. Specialised in tapas food. Mm -hmm. Pretty affordable prices too yeah. for being like quite touristy as well. Yes. Also, you could get beer on tap and wine. But we didn't get anything to eat there. Uh, we are heading to a really popular churros place. So we're gonna get some churros and maybe some... Hot chocolate. Chocolate, yes. Although we could have definitely eaten at that market. So they're slightly, not slightly, they're a lot thicker. I don't know why Christy's let me go first. She's been dying for this all day. <laughs> wow. So good. I'm gonna make such a mess here. The chocolate's definitely the star of the show. Mm. These are good, but the chocolate is amazing. So last stop of the day, we're off to a bit of a strange one, a shopping centre. Yeah, we're going to the El Corte Inglés. I don't think that's how you say it, um, but apparently it's got a really good viewing point from the eighth or ninth floor. Before we do, we're going to get through this sea of people. Everyone's woken up from their siestas. It is hectic. Yeah, you can definitely tell when it's siesta time because the streets are pretty quiet considering, and then as soon as it hits about six o'clock, Bang. Bang. It just, everyone's out and about. Yeah, everyone just is yeah, everywhere. So good atmosphere though. Yep. Like so we've come up to the viewpoint here, the mall that we were talking about earlier. You have to come up to about the eighth or ninth floor floor, I believe it was, and you have to walk through a really fancy food court. Much like the market we went to earlier, it's a bit of a tapas sort of style, yeah. wine, beer, all sorts of different food. Mm. So you can get your food, your beers and your wines, come out here and enjoy it on the deck. Yeah, so I think we're going to leave it here, we're going to wrap it up and we're going to head back to our Airbnb and get prepared for tomorrow because we've got a big travel down, day down south to Sevilla, Seville. So right. yay! See you there. Bye!